Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki Fox here. So I came up with an idea to have my partner just randomly pick a YouTube video for me to recreate. And he came across Anouk's channel and she filmed a sunset makeup tutorial. So I'll leave a pic right up here. I'm going to try to recreate this whole look, doing it my own way. If you wanna see what it looks like, stay tuned. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. All right guys, let's jump right into the video. So the first product I am going to use, I'm actually going to be using like a full face of BH Cosmetics, but I'm going to go into the Drop Dead Gorgeous Little Bit Psycho Palette. It has this super bright oops, yellow in there. It's called Alarming. Looks like this here. It's kind of hard to use bright yellow shadows just because they're not always pigmented. So I'm going to take one of my... BH Cosmetics 101 blending brush. It just looks like this here. And I'm going to put this all over the inner corner of my eye. There. And I'm just doing this in the corner on both sides. And I'm gonna pack and layer on the yellow. I have two yellows in two separate palettes, so I'm gonna use both of them. The only two yellows I have in my collection. But you don't have to worry about blending out the yellow too much because it's gonna fade into an orange and the orange is gonna fade into like a purple. So I'm just gonna hit that with the yellow again. And I'm going to go into my Moray Wonderlust palette, and there's a shade called Lifestyle. It's kind of like an off yellow, like a mustard, mustard vibe. I'm going to put that over top of the alarming color from my other palette that I just used. To really make it vibrant vibes, you know what I mean? And to be honest, this is my first time using yellow eyeshadow in a look. I've used orange so many times, but not yellow. So now I am going to go into my Moray Wonderless palette. And I'm going to take the orange shave called Drive. It's just right here. And I'm gonna put that all over the same brush I use for the yellow because you can blend the two together. And I'm gonna start up with just like the top of my crease and then I'll start blending it down just so I don't intertwine the colors too much. That's, can you see what I'm doing? Oh my God, guys, today is Christmas Eve. 2020 is almost over. 2020 is, 2021 is about to begin. What did you guys get for Christmas? Let me know down below in the description box. I'd love to hear some new makeup products you guys are trying out. Some new makeup products you guys asked for. There's a new palette by Huda Beauty. I don't know what it's called, but they have like these marble 
pans and they look so cool. Like I wouldn't want to use that if I got it for Christmas or anything or just for myself. But I'm looking forward to 2021. I feel like big things are gonna happen. And I'm turning 25. That's a vibe. Anyway, so once these two colors are on, I'm gonna start blending the orange and the yellow together very lightly, and then I'll move on to like a purpley pink kind of color, but we won't get too far out of ourselves now. Let's just do what we're doing right now. I'm gonna take a clean blending brush, just wipe it down so I know it's clean. And I'm going to blend my brow bone here. So this is what you should have so far. I'm roughly going off of her tutorial, Anouk's tutorial. Um, I'll leave that down in my description box, like the link to her video. But I honestly, I do, I do per look pretty good, pretty damn good. So I'm gonna go into my Mimosa, Mimosa, Mimosa palette um, at BH Cosmetics. This is the Weekend Vibes collection. Oh my god, there's a yellow in here too. So this is what that looks like. But we don't need that yellow because it's kind of like a, a burnt yellow, if that makes sense. But I'm going to go into this color called Salute. Right here. And I'm going to put that on the outer, outer corner of both of my eyes. waxed again because they're getting a little bushy canvas and I'm going to take a clean blending brush and take this card called Ch Oop, I'm actually just gonna go back into the salute and to fix up this inner little corner here there we go now I'm gonna go back into this mimosa palette and go into the color here it's called chill it's like a, a white and I'm just gonna go in there and put that under my brow bone for a little highlight. Now in her video she did this first, but I like to do it last so it all blends together. Just personal preference. to I've never done this before I I was practicing this like the other night and it was my first time smudging out liner with a a penciled eyeliner 
and I did a really good job. I was super proud of myself. So I'm gonna attempt to do it again, but I might end up doing one eye off cam, one eye on cam, just because when it comes to doing my left eye, it's very difficult for some reason. It's just how it is. But I'm gonna take this mirror here actually. I need to be absolutely quiet for this because the amount of concentration this takes is crazy. And it doesn't need to be perfect because I am going to smudge it out. And I will just quickly do this eye real quick. Just like that. And I'm going to take my smudging brush. This is from BH Cosmetics and this is the Chillin' in Chicago set. Ooh. And I'm just going to go ahead and smudge this out lightly. kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but... I'm just gonna take this Mimosa palette and use the mirror in there. Can you still see me? And I'm gonna go back into my Drop Dead Gorgeous, you know the vibes in this Fox household. And I am going to go into this Black Magic, it's like a pure matte black. I'm lightly gonna dabble into it and then I'm just gonna go over top of the liner that I did. Like so, this is like a very smudged outlook smudged outlook so i'm not really used to it but it's gonna all blend out when i put the lashes on all that fun and jazz i need new movies to watch guys have you guys seen any good movies lately I just finished The Mandalorian. Oh my god, the season two finale had me shook. I was shook. Started crying. Okay, so for some reason, my right eye usually comes out better than the left eye, but in today's video, in this case, my left eye is way better than my right eye. So there's that. So once that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to my under eye using the same black. This is from BH Cosmetics too, and it's called the Kajal Pencil in shade 01 Black. I'm gonna put that on the bottom lash line, waterline, and lash line. When I was a kid, I had no front teeth, and for like two years, maybe like a year, I used to get teased like, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth, and now every year for Christmas, that's all I think about. I have nice teeth now.
story time. Don't know where I was going with that. So that's down and on the canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and smudge that out too. Because my eyes are really like irritable. Is that a word? Yeah, irritable. But I'm gonna take the exact same color, so yellow, orange, purple, pink, and put that on the lower, um, just under the black. Very low key though, like I don't want to do it too harshly because I don't want to blend the black with the color. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna take the yellow. Boom, that's it, just like that. I'm not even gonna like blend it because I want it to be bold. Boom. Bam. So what I did to the top, I'm pretty much doing to the bottom. I'm just being very careful about it. And again, this is my rendition on the video, so it could be a little different. It's what it is. Um, so now I'm going to add some highlight because you already know I want to be shining for the gods, the makeup gods, that is. Now I'm going to take this color called Champagne in the Mimosa palette. It's really, it's a really nice color actually. It's just this one here. Champagne showers. And I'm going to put that under, oh, ooh, wow. Look at that. I'm gonna put that under my brow bone. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. BH Cosmetics, you've really stepped your game up. <laughs> and those are just the vibes. So now I am going to put some glue on my falsies and I'm gonna be using the 3D Lash by LA Flare. These are the style SD29. Got that? So now I'm going to actually, I ran into lash glue. So I am using those little black lash glues that I was talking about in my previous videos where the lash glue is black. It doesn't dry white, it dries black. But because I have this black cat eye effect going on, I can get away, away with it today. Which is litty because I don't have any lash glue. So that's my only option. And with a look like this, you need lashes. I wanna go on vacation. If you can go anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? Let me know down below. I would go to, if I can go anywhere, and like money or anything wasn't a concern. I would go to Italy or Europe. Why? Because 
um, Italy. I'm Italian, so I would love to go there and just have... Italy's in Europe. Oh, Italy's in Europe. Oh. Well, people, <laughs> I'm not the best with my geography. But I would go to Europe, and I would go there because of the architecture. It looks just beautiful, and the food looks amazing. I'm sure it's not the same as, like, Canadian-Italian food. Obviously, it's better. But that's where, I, that's where I'd be. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my NARS Climax. This is a little sampler I got from Sephora, and it's still going strong. I absolutely love it. Absolutely. So that's done. I'm gonna put my lashes on. The one thing I don't like about this BH Cosmetics lash glue is I find that it wasn't really sticking the other day. Which is super unfortunate because if you need, if you want to use lash glue, it needs to stick. Like that's the whole purpose of lash glue. Okay, look at the difference. One lash, no lash. Lashes just vamp everything up. Okay, so lashes are on, eyes are done, I kind of want to add a little bit more highlighter, just for the whole aesthetic. And I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics, this is the Digital Future palette, and there's like this creamy white that has my lashes falling off, one second. I said that lash glue is playing games with me. Anyways, I'm going to this BH Cosmetics Digital Future Palette, and it's like a white, creamy shimmer. I'm gonna take that, and I'm just gonna put that on my brow bones too, because we're extra in, in here. All right, so this concludes the make today's makeup tutorial that I recreated from Anouk. It's like her sunset vibes, and this is my sunset vibe. So make sure you leave some comments down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And until next makeup tutorial, stay foxy and Merry Christmas.